Revelation 4306, from the 19th of May 1948. The Light Being's Intervention in Destiny Everything has to be called divine providence, for everything, even the smallest happening, has been predetermined since the start. It is God's will that you should fully mature on earth. And therefore everything has been arranged very prudently so that time and again you will have the opportunity to develop further. Your will is also decisive for the shaping of your earthly life, for God foresaw your will an eternity ago and accordingly laid out every individual person's course of life. The inhabitants of the spiritual kingdom of light are God's spiritual assistants and take care of people in accordance with their degree of maturity, and thus they are God's representatives and serve every individual person as spiritual guardians according to God's will. They intervene in earthly life with their teaching methods. They give to and deny people as is most beneficial to them. Thus they have authority from God to please people with gifts just as they might lead people to maturity through failures. Although this, too, always happens according to God's will they are nevertheless allowed freedom of activity as soon as the human being trustingly appeals to them for help. They are able to grant this request or deny it, and their great love for people will always get it right, since they are as one with divine will. Nevertheless, calling upon the beings of light is an assured means of help, for the beings of light are exceedingly tolerant in their love for people. They rarely deny people a request if the aim of their request is not obvious wrongdoing. And God will give his approval, regardless of how the beings of light decide, for they always share the same will with God. However, if it endangers the human soul the light beings will be adamant, for the danger to the soul must first be over before they can become receptive to a person's request and intervene helpfully. But then the light being's activity will be evident then the human being will be able to undertake anything, he need not fear any failure and earthly life will become easy and bearable for him, because his guardian angels grant him support and he can entrust himself to them in every way but without ever excluding God, instead, heartfelt dialogue with him should precede every appeal to the beings of light, so that the will of the latter is always God's will and the help is always recognizable. Amen.